up here first. Pablo, yeah. <laughs> Goldfinger. There he was. Dude, stand up comedy is tough, guys. You know, it's, being, it's tough. But doing stand up comedy and fucking looking like this is even tougher. Let me tell you. Uh, mainly because of everything you guys are thinking right now. Like, oh my god, you look like every other redheaded motherfucker I've ever met in my life. And that's tough. That's tough. Tom Petty, you know what I'm talking about, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> People come up to me all the time and they're like, you know, you look like I Love Lucy fuck Danny Bonaducci. And I was like, man, the hell? You know? Like Pauly Shore fuck the amazing Jonathan. I'm like, what the? Look at me like that. You know? It's tough, man. It's tough. You know the thing I get all the time? What, what's the, what do you guys think I get all the time? The carrot top thing, right? Right? Yo, fuck every one of you guys here. Fuck each and every one of you guys. This lady, the mobster wife over here, she's like, yeah, man, fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm Jewish, right? And my mom, you know, she always gave me comebacks for when I was a kid. She, I was like, mom, people call me carrot top all the time. She's like, Michael, when people call you a carrot top, tell them the top of the carrots are green, they're not red or orange, or anything like that. I was like, thanks, mom. I tried that, and I got fucking beat up. <laughs> Sucks, man. Sucks. You know, like, a girls never hit on the Lucky Charms leprechaun ever, right? So, this one night when I was doing karaoke and this lady winked at me, I, I thought that was my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So, I went I sat next to her, right? And she was like, oh my god, I love your hair. I'm in love with your hair. I'm a hairdresser. I love your hair. She started putting her fingers in my curls. You know, because ladies, the curlies are for the girlies. That's very true. But what is she? She's putting her hair in my, you know, fingers in my curls. She's like, you remind me of somebody famous. I can't think of who it was. So I ordered her a shot, you know, like any gentleman should do. Um, it was a red-headed slut. <laughs> I believe you are what you drink, you know, so. Right as she takes the shot, though, she goes, oh my God, I remember who you remind me of. You remind me of Richard Simmons. <laughs>
Yeah. I mean, doing comedy is tough. You know, that's, uh, comedy is a lot like my sex life, though. You know, like, I'm going to give you the best five minutes that I got. What? And you're probably not going to be satisfied at the end, you know. But I'm going to get everything I got, you know. Uh, the little red engine that could. <laughs> choo choo! What else do I got for you guys? You know. Look at my arm. I'm sorry, I got hired at a bird's pussy before I came up here, guys. You know, uh, the California, the grass truly is greener on the California side. I, I wouldn't know that though because I'm colorblind. Uh, that's what I told the cop when he pulled me over from running the green light earlier. You know, like, I think, uh, so somebody celebrating a birthday here tonight. Is that right? Who's celebrating a birthday? Down here? Would you? Are you, are you one of those people that are like, I don't know what to get you for your birthday because you have everything? Is that? I, I had a girlfriend like that. You know, I didn't know what to get her because she had everything, right? You know, and then I, then I figured out, I just got that, I got her a shot of penicillin, right? Cleared everything right up. No, no, no more everything. No more everything. Yeah, what's your dad's name? What is his name? Rich. Hey, happy birthday, Rich. Let's give it up for Rich. If I knew the slogan for Mr. Clean, I'd say it right now, but uh, don't. She, she calls you Mr. Clean? Yes. Alright. Well, she has what she said, so I'm gonna repeat it. His hair was red before he shaved it off. Oh, yeah? yeah. Red, red on the noodle like a prick of a poodle, huh? That's one of my favorite ones. Oh, that's it. Uh, sorry, I have a really dirty mouth. I apologize for that. Well, guys, uh, you know, I'm going to get out of here. You know, I got a message, um, like every comedian should. You know, my message is all about positivity, right? I'm all about positivity. I have the word positivity tattooed on my right side. I truly believe in that, you know. Think, think positive thoughts, you know, get all the negative. Get all those negatives out of your life. You know, you just don't need them. You don't need them. You know, but accept those negative pregnancy tests, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep that shit coming. <laughs>